Hi guys, Pugpill here and welcome to a brand new series. This is my modded series. Yay, and the world's still loading in as you would probably expect because I just literally logged on. Uh, I've been working on this house for a couple of days now. Um, it's taken me no end of resources, but we finally got there and it was awkward as shit to make. Um, but yeah, so we're on. We're finally doing a Let's Play series on my own modded thing. I'll put the mod links, or I'll put a list of mods in the description some way. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But uh, I will put it in there some way or another. So welcome to my new house. Uh, don't worry, my solitary series will still be going. I'm just doing this one as well instead of the uh, solitary server, since that doesn't actually exist anymore. Uh, it's now the Magicality X server, which I might play a few episodes on later on once it's got a bit more developed. But for now, I'm staying with my modded series, which has got a ton of new mods in that I haven't really messed around with. Look! Lens flare! When you look at the sun, there's freaking lens flare. Woo! Uh, yeah, that's Psychedelicraft. It adds a ton of shaders to Minecraft with different things, and uh, it's not exactly the sort of mod you would expect. It's like drugs and stuff, so yeah, I don't induce those. Uh, I don't. I don't promote drug use, I don't promote alcohol, but it's in here, because I love that mod when it was older. So uh, We also have uh, Malice's Doors, so that's what these are. Really simple to make, they're just like, uh, I think it was, if we can get some of these. All you have to do to make those doors is some wood down the side with some glass down the other side, and it'll make you a wooden glass door. So, cool. I was going to make some custom doors, but I thought those ones would suit more. These I might make custom doors later on, once I get the right resources and everything, but for now, we are good. So, uh, I also got some player flesh, because I got killed by a skeleton, and I, uh, it made me drop some player flesh from cannibalism. So this is more meant for servers and stuff, but uh, you can do it. You can then cook up your own flesh, and then you can eat it. Because cannibalism. Uh, I got a ton of stuff. Uh, we got Oz Magicka on here, which I'm looking really forward to getting into. Which is probably one of the first things I actually do want to get into. So, looking forward to that. As you will hear, we got some fairies outside as well. There's a creeper over there. Don't want to get too close to you. I did have a couple of other mods in, but they kept bugging the game out, so I had to actually remove them. Uh, but yeah, so we got a ton of mods. There's over 210, I think. So, cool. But we're going to nip upstairs and we're going to sleep. And yeah, this is the upstairs, by the way, so hope you enjoy. Uh, apparently I'm standing on my bed in front of me. That's a bit weird. Okay, and I also made a balcony here. I will change this area up later on, but for now it's just like that. How the hell did you guys get up here? Hello. Yes, I added fairies in just because... Because I wanted to make this a magic and tech sort of mod pack, so uh, I actually aimed for making this for more of a server type of mod pack than an actual single player. Uh, so that I could basically have that. So we got some cooked up player meat. Is that a skelly? Hello, Mr. Skelly. You can't shoot me because there's glass in the way. Eh. But I can do that. <laughs> that pissed you off. Okay, so player meat actually refreshes a lot of health. Uh, we've got, uh, Spice Up Your Life as well, so that's installed. Uh, we got an absolute ton of mod. Let me go through the list, see if I can show you the ones that are actually on here. So we've got another one, Bates the Dust, Applied Energistics 2, Applied Aerodynamics, which looked cool, but I'm not sure how it works yet, so we will look into that later. But it adds some new armor and stuff. Uh, we got Archimedes Ships mod, we've got Archimagius, which was a bit of a mm, ah thing. Uh, we got Aroma Core, Ars Magic 2, uh, Automagy, so this is an add on for Funcraft, so we will be getting into Funcraft. Uh, Billcraft, as usual, uh, Bubbles, doo -doo 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 -doo. Bibliocraft, 
big reactors, Binny's core as well, well, basically just Binny's mods, so extra bees, extra trees, all that sort of stuff. Bombs are plenty, Blocklings, Blood Arsenal, which is a new mod that looked really cool, it's an add-on to Blood Magic, which I want to get into this time because I can't get into it in my solitary series, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we've got Batania, Botany, apparently, I'm not sure what mod that's from. Uh, brewing API, which was required for one of the mods. I also had another brewing API that I wanted to add for another mod, but because there was two, it wouldn't allow it, so that was a bit annoying. But uh, unfortunately, I had to take that mod out. We got Buildcraft Additions, which looks like a cool mod. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. We got Carpenter Blocks, Chem Labs, Cannibalism, as I've said. Chem Labs looks cool. Uh, chisels, Compact Machines, Computeronics. Uh, craft, heredre, whatever. Dark tech, which is a bit of a work in progress mod by the looks of it, and uh, is a little bit strange. I'm not sure how that works at the moment. Disease craft, so you can now catch diseases. Uh, electrical age, enchantville mod. I've also got Ender IO, Ender utilities, Ender storage, Ender tech, which. Uh, as you will see in my one of my spotlights a while ago, it's had a bit of an update. It's basically still the same, but it's added some cool new, a uh, couple of cool new blocks. So I wanted to put that in. Engineer's toolbox. Finally, it got updated to 1.710. So I will be looking into that because that was one of my favorite mods for 1.6 uh, when we were playing. Actually, was it 1.6? Was it 1? Uh, I can't remember, it was a long time ago, so it might have been 1.6, I think it was when I was playing on my server, so. Uh, we've also got AT Dynamics, uh, Defenses, Resources, we got Eureka, uh, Enchanted Portals Free, so I'll work on that. Evilcraft Extended Workbench, Extra Bees, Extra Trees, Extra Utilities, Extra Cells, Extra Tick. Factorization, I got the Familiar's API, but I'm not sure how that works at the moment, so I'm going to have to look up the fam guide. Uh, flower tea, which looks uh, different. I just, oh jeez, oh god, no, 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 come back here. Uh, flower tea. So yeah, you got different types of tea and stuff. So I wanted to have a look at that. We also got crumpets. Woo! Uh, we got fluxed trinkets, which looked cool. It's more of a bubbles sort of add-on thing. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, forbidden magic. Of course, we gotta have forbidden magic. Everything forbidden is good. Forestry, microblocks, 3D furnace, uh, galactic craft, and the planets add-on. Uh, Ganny's never Ganny's surface. Unfortunately, I had to take out Ganny's end because otherwise Ars Magical wouldn't work, and I really wanted that to work. So, uh, gas craft, gendustry, genetics. Uh, gravestones, growth craft, and all of its add-ons. Got Highlands, which is the actual biome type, or world type, that I'm using at the moment. Uh, along with the integration that it has with Biomes of Plenty. So that is what the world type we're using. Um, Tinker Tweaks, so Inguna, new, uh, the, that one. Uh, Invworks, Iron Chests, Jabba, lots of food. Lucky Blocks. Magical Crops, so Magical Crops is finally back in. Magitech, Malice's Doors, Mantle, Mechanism, and all of its add-ons. Uh, Menagery, whatever, uh, that adds some new mobs. Uh, Metallurgy 4. Minechem for 1.710, that literally just got updated, so I'm looking forward to that. Modular 4 fill, well, for 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 I can't talk. Force field systems. There we go. Uh, modular furnace two, which I think actually needs an update to modular systems, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, Miscraft. That's actually for one seven two, but it works on one ten. Uh, Natura. Open blocks. Open computers. Pam's mods or Pam's harvest craft. Whatever. Uh, craft. We've also got. Practicalities or something like that. That looked cool. It had a few cool blocks and things in it, so I had to look at that. Progressive automations, primitive mobs, Project E, Project Red, and all of its add-ons. Uh, Psychedelic craft, which was the one I said about the shaders. Quarries plus, uh, Railcraft, Redstone Arsenal, Reliquary for 1710. 
Resonant Induction, which I'm looking forward to because that's sort of a add-on to, um, oh, what's the mod? Mechanism, there we go. Uh, RF Tools mod, which I just did a spotlight on, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check that out. Uh, Simply Jetpacks. Slime Carnage, which is a bit of a weird mod, but yeah. Solar Flux, which adds some solar panels to Tinkerous Const... Uh, Tinkerous Construct. Thermal Expansion. Soul Shards Reborn. I had to add that in. Statues. Steve's Cuts 2. Whoopsie. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Steve's Factory Manager, which I still need to learn how to use. Sync. Funcraft. Funcraft Energistics. Funcraft Exploration. Funcraft Revelations which I actually don't actually know what that adds. I think it was something like an add-on to... F I think it was something like taking over Funcraft Warden or something. So, yeah. Uh, Fomic Tinkerer, Twilight Forest, Thermal Expansion, Thermal Foundation, Tinkerer's Construct, of course. Uh, Torch Levers, Ultratech, Warp Book, and Witchery. So, there is some cool mods in here. I mainly focused on the Funcraft add-ons and stuff, but uh, I basically added on what I could. Get, get out, get out, get out, get out. I want you to burn. Burn, burn, please burn. I, he died, okay. Right, so now we're going to get on with some stuff. I don't know how long we were already into this episode, because I didn't start looking. Uh, we're about ten minutes in, okay. Oh, Jesus. Right, so, uh, let's get ourselves a few types of pickaxe things, because I need them to actually dig up my grave that's actually got all my stuff in. So, I made this extended workbench. All you have to do is put a crafting table next to the other crafting table, and uh, you'll get one of these. But, uh, I'm not actually going to make a tool out of this. I'm actually going to just make normal tools because I've got some extended already which I will show you in a bit. So normal pickaxes and stuff don't work due to the extra tinkerers stuff so that's a little bit annoying but we can make our way around that by getting some tinkerers stuff sorted out so cool. Get one of those, get one of those, uh, we need a couple more sticks why is it every time I craft something in here that my game lags? Uh, and then we put our pickaxe, our axe, and our spear together, and we will get ourselves a Paxel from Mechanism. Woo! Then we can go outside and dig up our grave, not the ground. God. Ah! Jesus Christ, you frittened the life out of me! Fushy gutta! Right, okay, that actually freaked the absolute crap out of me. Put that back. So, we got ourselves an extended sword. I'm not sure what this little arrow thing does. I'm not sure what mod that's from. But uh, we got an extended uh, stone sword. We got an extended pickaxe and an extended axe. So, to make these, an axe is like this in the extended crafting table. The pickaxe is like this in an extended crafting table. And the sword is like this in an extended crafting table. So not too hard to make, but uh, pretty cool. So I also got a steel hamlet off of a skeleton. Now, there's another grave over here that uh, apparently Jacob was squashed by a falling anvil. Feel sorry for Jacob. Not that I know who the hell he is. And I just leveled up. Will you fairies please get off the so Are you pooping on my windowsill? God. Okay, that was a little bit glitchy. So yeah, so what we're going to get into, why do I have 64 of those? Okay, we are going to, uh, actually, I think I need, actually, that's one of the first things I'm going to work on. Let's grab ourselves a chest, <clears throat> and then I'm going to put some of that in there. Just saying guys, this house took forever to make, so I'm happy with how it actually came out in the end, because otherwise I think it would have been a bit beat off. Right, so we want to make, we want to make, we want to make, we want to make, let's look up trash. So we want a trash can, so five of the cobblestone, three normal stone, so cool, so one, two, there we go. So, five normal stone, 
three, uh, three normal stone, five cobblestone, one chest in the middle, and we got a trash can. Wood. Wooty wooty wood. Okay, so now we can put these in, because I don't know what happened there. But I don't want them anyway, so. Uh, we got a ton of clay, so I'm going to grab that. We got a ton of gravel, or a fair bit of gravel, and a ton of sand, because I needed a lot. We also got glowstone, because I killed a replicator, a mob from a certain mod that I don't know what it was. <clears throat> so we're going to put all of these together, and we will get ourselves some grout. And if we shift, click that. There we go. Just took a little bit of time to load. And then if we smelt the grout up, we will eventually get some seared bricks, which means we can make ourselves a smeltery. Because smeltery is the way to go at the beginning of a game. Whoop. Especially when you've got the mods on that I have, so otherwise they can be a bit annoying. So there's also a meteorite over there, which I got really lucky with, because uh, Applied Energistics 2 meteorites are a pain in the arse to get. So let's hope that it's actually got some nice, decent stuff in it. <clears throat> Alright, we are going to go down here, and we are going to... I keep thinking that door's open. Just the fact of it's, uh, like, clear. Okay, so we got four seared bricks. And what can we do with seared bricks? Well, if we go into our crafty craft, we can make them into seared bricks. Yeah, seared bricks make seared bricks. Or seared brick makes seared bricks. <clears throat> so we're going to need a lot of these so that we can make ourselves a smeltery. Which I sort of want to make in the floor. Just the fact of we can chuck things into it. But I might actually go out here and... Eventually, I will end up making a basement, and that's how I want this to be. So, let's see. How do I want this? I want one of those there. Take that out there, and we need a 9x9 nine nine floor, and actually, that's going to be the wall. Hmm. That's also a window there. Oh, this isn't a very good idea, is it? I suppose I'm not making a very big one at the moment, so I might just... Eh, we'll do it this way, god damn it. Okay, so I need a wall going across the back. I need a wall coming down this side, uh, going across the front and a the floor there. So let's dig out the floor, because I don't think I got a shovel, because I used it all on that goddamn sand earlier. Or before, whenever. So, uh, hello Mr. Blackling! I also want to focus more on magic this series, because magic, I've been saying magic, magic, magic every series, but I do want to focus more on the magic side of things than the tech side, although tech I want to get automated and stuff like that, so let's put these down and throw some, let's, let's get those fairies mad, let's throw some poop at them, because they keep pooping on our lawn, so why shouldn't I poop, throw poop their poop back at them? Take that, and that, you gonna hit me for it? Hmm? You didn't learn your lesson! Damn you poopin' fairies! Ah. <sighs> to you too. Right, we are gonna go in here, and we're gonna... I could've gone through the back door, damn. But so far I'm liking the layout of this building, I... I'm not good at building things, but this has actually turned out really well, so I'm happy with it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make that balcony into, really. <coughs> I put it there more for aesthetic reasons than anything. So, what are we going to do? Well, uh, between episodes I actually want to do some mining, between now and next episode. So, that I'm going to leave. But, what can we do for now? We can make some jelly. Uh, I've still got a load of glass panes left over from when I was building these, because I made more than I needed. Right, so, what do we need? We need... Those fairies are starting to piss me off. Although, eventually, I will recruit one after I kill their queen. And, yeah, it seems ironic, doesn't it? To you two. Okay. Right, so, what are we gonna do? We are going...
We got so much to do, and yet I don't know what to do. Um, hmm. This could be a dilemma. Actually, I've just remembered something. And also, I could probably craft... No, I can't, because I need diamonds for these. Ugh, these are so expensive. Right, okay, let's check these. I'm going to grab and place two more of these down. And in the meantime, we are going to go over to a place where I know that there is a lucky block. And see if we can test our luck on the lucky lottery. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of fairies. Jesus. Uh, yeah, there's so many flowers in this biome, which reminds me, what biome am I in? I'm in plains, that'll explain it. Also, I want to get that silver tree on the way back, because it is an Ars Magica Witchwood tree, and me, me like Ars Magica. Me, me like it a lot. So I will grab that. Right, uh, where is this lucky block that I just said about? Because I don't know. Lucky block, there you are. Let's test our luck, see if we're going to die or not. It's a chest. Oh, we got a cutlass. Nice. Flippers. Uh. Oh, I don't have any inventory space. Damn it. Uh, let's chuck you in here. So, what do I want to chuck in? Let's chuck in some of those, some of those, some of that. Uh, one of those. Hope that we can grab everything. We got a wooden pickaxe. Not that that's gonna do much. We got some welligogs. So grab this chest. I don't want the pickaxe. If I pick up the pickaxe, even better. Can I mine you? No, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to. Okay, hello, Mr. Fairies. We're gonna go over here to this witchwood tree, and we aren't going to fall. Oh. Hello? I hesitate to fall down there, but... Uh... Oh, I know what this is. This is just a, uh... I think it's a sewer. Oh, there's an infected mob over there. Hello, Mr. Villager. Okay, we're gonna grab a couple of these as well while we're down here, because we might as well make the most of being trapped in a hole. Because trapped in a hole is not fun. Right, now how are we going to get out? What resources do I have? I have gravel. I need gravel, but I will use these gravel to get out if I remember to place it in the right direction. Eh, let me out. Yay, just had enough. Nice. Okay, so do we have any alm? We have alm! Or alm, something like that. And then we can chop the twee down, and we can get some witch wood. Witch wood is good because we can get a frame ready for our uh, Ars Magica altar. So let's get rid of. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Don't. I'll get rid of that. Why not? Then I'm gonna chop. Away at the leaves to see if I can get some witch wood saplings, which I very much doubt because witch woods are a pain to get saplings. And there's another tree over the other direction anyway, so. Choppity chop! Okay, well, we're gonna. Oh, hello! Who are you? Oh, you. Okay, you don't sell anything nice. Uh, there's a doggy statue thing over here. Sparky was doomed to fall by a zombie dog. Nice. Feel sorry for Sparky, though. Really feel sorry for Sparky. I'm not going to grab these witch woods. I'm going to leave them for now. Oh, actually, I want to quickly dive underwater and show you the little shaders that are added. So, underwater, you can see it goes all wibbly-wobbly. And if we go above... Oh, look at that. So nice. I just love, um, oh, what's the mod called? Oh my god. Psychedelicraft. There we go. Yeah, so Psychedelicraft adds those sh little shaders in, and I think it looks so nice. Um, one thing I will say, if, um, Psychedelicraft adds in the thing called rifts. You don't want to go near a rift. You won't be able to see for about five minutes because everything will be in binary. So you got one and zeros just flashing across your screen. 
Uh, so you kind of want to catch a rift in a jar if possible. Right, we're going to nip upstairs and go to bed. Are our little fairy friends... <gasps> Whoa! Fuck! How did you get up here? Unless you were on the roof. Hmm. I should have thought about the roof a bit more. That's a good start to the series. And at least the ladders didn't just oh actually they did. Oh god damn it, I gotta go dig out some more of that stuff now. Hello? Is that another fairy? Yes it is, god damn it. Okay, add some torches there. Okay. Slip slip I can see myself again. Oh look at my welly gags, they look so nice. Well my flippers, aren't they? Not welly gags, that's my other ones. Okay, there's my welly gags. Or oh, waddling boots, wading boots, something like that. Ah, uh, fairies, go away! Hey, why throw potions at each other? <laughs> okay, so, oh, actually, we grabbed some limestone, I didn't even notice. Okay, so, we are gonna... We're gonna, 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 gonna... We're gonna make ourselves a altar. Because we want to alter reality. What? So, at altar, I'm actually going to place... I'm just thinking how big this thing needs to be. I think it's a 5x5. Five five. So, we could put it here. If we break everything! Okay, so, we need to make a structure like so. Hopefully, if this is the right way and none of the mod has changed. Because <clears throat> the last time I played it was in 1.6. So we need to make a 5x5 five five area on the ground. And I'm not going to have anywhere near enough uh, log or oh, planks for this. So we will continue this in the next coming episodes. This one was just sort of a I don't know what I'm doing because I got that many mods that... I'm confused. So, I will probably get a little farm set up as well in the next episode. Or in between episodes, because I like doing a lot in between episodes as well. So, that you guys don't have to watch me be boring. Right, so we actually need one of those. No, we don't. Wait. Huh? Hold on. No, dig you out. Dig you out. Come on. Don't want you. There we go. Right, so I actually need that there. There. Same the other side. And eventually, once I've actually got some decent resources like sugarcane and that, I will be able to use them as well to uh, make books, which I actually really need at the moment. I can't craft you into books though. Engineering diary from Eureka. What the hell? The book is a diary if you're a progress. <laughs> So yeah, this is for the... Where did you come from? Oh, go away. Uh... My house. My newly built house. All destroyed. Shut up laughing, you little... An explosive first episode, that's for sure. Just stick everything in the chests and grab everything else. Um, I need an axe. There we go, pickaxe. To dig up you. Hopefully this works. Guessing it probably won't. Oh, it will. Okay, well then, I'm gonna have to fix my house up, and so be it, but um, one thing I want to do before we end here is get this window put in before any more creepers spawn. Not that I know where they're spawning anyway, so I'll have to check that out. Uh, oh god, this place is a mess. Okay, well, we are gonna grab ourselves some more of these bricks, and I also want to grab these and grab myself I think I needed stone actually let's grab that chuck those out put those on grab that put that in 
Uh, oh, nothing has gone how I wanted it to. Eh. Right, so put those in, those in. Okay, and we're gonna eat squid because cooked calamari. Anything could come through that back door right now. I'm just saying. Right, so I'm actually gonna grab some of these, and then I need to make myself some petals. Actually, I will make some cyan petals because I don't want cyan. Right, and then we need to make some slabs. <clears throat> and then, uh, if I... Phone, please stop buzzing. That's the third time in like five minutes. Okay, so I want to make these, so... Do -do 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 uh, there we go. My phone shouldn't be buzzing anymore. Right, so... Uh, what was it? Two of these at the top. Those down like that. And a petal... There, and we get ourselves a petal apoca apoca fairy, whatever. And we're gonna stick this out the front. I will find an actual place that I like for this, so uh, for now we'll just stick it over here for a make do. And pumpkin can go there. Tomato! Tomato, 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 tomato. Put these down. Put those down. Oh, we don't have enough. But I will cook some more up, and then in the next episode we should get ourselves a uh, smeltery, and hopefully have this place fixed up, and no more blowing up from a creeper, because I will have lit the place up properly, so that no creepers can find me and blow me to shit. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to leave a like if you did, and um, subscribe if you're new to my channel, because you're welcome. You're always welcome. New people are awesome, and uh, I love you guys. So remember to uh, check out the rest of the series once I put some videos up. I will pr not sure how often I'll be putting videos up for this yet, but um, yeah. So hopefully I will be doing that soon, and uh, yeah. So my solitary series will still be going. So if you guys haven't checked that out before, then go check it out, and we can go from there. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have been Pokepeel. This has been my modded series on Minecraft 1.710. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!